Hey, hey we're Echo Smith. And this is Billboard News. Hey, what's up? It's Tetris with Billboard News. I'm hanging out with a couple of cool kids, all the pun intended. I'm with Echo Smith. What's up, guys? Hey, hey thank you up? for having us. We're of so stoked course. to be here. Thanks for coming. We're going to talk about the past, the present, and the future. Okay. So Love let's it. talk about something that is all of them, and that's cool kids being viral right now. You guys are blowing up. How's it been to see this song have a resurgence? It's insane, because I mean, it's been nine years since we released it, 10 years since we recorded it. We were so surprised when I just was like scrolling on my For You page and then saw Addison Ray's video, and I was like, Man, wait, is this that is me singing? Heavy, heavy hitter TikTokers right here. I know, and I was like, wait, isn't she like a gigantic TikToker? It always came from a personal story, so I'm like, man, I'm even more comforted to know that people are still relating to this song almost 10 years later. And why do you think it's related with a different audience all, the, all over again? Yeah, I mean, I think for us, like it came out of our real life experience and feeling like I am struggling to fit in. And I feel like that really is a universal feeling. Because of that, I think Cool Kids is reviving. And I think even now it's becoming this almost like redeeming moment where people are able to show like, I felt insecure about this when I was little, but now like, I feel secure in that thing, and now I'm able to feel this level of confidence. And it's been cool to see so many different videos that show that kind of redemption working out. It's been it's been really special. You said 10 years since you guys recorded yeah. the song. Yeah. So how do you feel like you've changed as a person 10 years after writing it? So much has changed. I was 16 when it came out. I'm 25 now. We're just embracing who we are more than ever now and trying to just let that shine. We started when we were teenagers. And so as we, like, especially entered COVID and our adulthood and all that, we had to ask ourselves, like, why do we do music? Through COVID and through that questioning, we really found a renewed purpose and why we do what we do. And that's really, like, to relive and experience, like, the beauty of music and the message that it can carry. And so that has been what we've been trying to do with our new music. That's what we try to do with Cool Kids. It's almost proof. As we've been making this new record and putting out new music, Cool Kids is reviving. And people are experiencing that connection again. Nothing in this world could And it kind of made us think, like, what if the song isn't finished yet? And there never was a bridge. Wait. It was always instrumental. We were just messing around, and we kind of, like, wrote a bridge. Then a new existed. bridge? Yeah. And, like, just messed around with it. And it was kind of cool. OK, well, we need to hear that. I don't know. That was That's a whole new song. sound right there. Come on. I mean, it was all Come completely on. redone, and my voice is like nine years older. I mean, the emotion it was fun. behind that. I love it. Grab you in the back, already oh, ready yeah. with the drums. I saw you. <laughs> you were living. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, well now I need a full version of that. I will be waiting patiently oh. to hear that, and I will use the sound on TikTok because that whole okay. moment. That. that was a moment. That was Oh, and now, but you're doing new music as well. You have yeah. Hang Around. So yep. tell me about that track and, and recording the new stuff. So Hang Around was literally a song that just came super naturally to us where we're like, he sent me a track. I had an idea. We came all together and made the song in a day. And we were like, wait, that just happened naturally. We weren't trying to be anything or like referencing anything. And we are like, this is kind of cool. And it set the tone for all the new music. I had it produced by Noah and our brother Jamie also, who's our original guitar player. All I want is for you to hang What's the biggest change as a family, the dynamic mm. when you guys are recording? We all like are adults now, and that's weird. And we're all kind of like experiencing the oddness of adulthood together, but separate, and being able to come together and like hang and make music together is really special. If you're working on new music, can we hear Hang Around? Can you guys yes. maybe do a little something, something? We okay. can do a little yeah. piece of it, Graham. I've been trying to do these the impromptu things. live performances. I like it. Put it on the spot. Real. Come on. We're ready. If you're like a fire, then I'll fall. Yeah, see. Just wanna hang around and fall like an earthquake. See past the fall and leave. Uh. 
I can guarantee most families when they sit around and do music don't sound like that. <laughs> that song was great. So now that I got to experience that, when can other people experience hearing you guys perform? Yes, so we are going on tour this fall, which is really exciting. I think we're playing like 25 cities. So everyone can just go to echosmith.com to get tickets and it's gonna be super fun. It's the hang around tour. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for playing music for us today. We really appreciate it. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah.